Alright guys, what's going on again? This is Jamie or I, Jamie Dash, and today I thought I'd upload another gameplay, uh, seeing as though, because Black Ops has just been released, I want to get as much gameplay out to you guys as possible, and look at this, look, one, two, three, and does he go for the fourth? No, he can't get in, but I think I do, I can't remember, no, I run away, so yeah. I end up getting the fourth anyway, as you can see there, but yeah, I got a triple kill to start off with, and... To, get, to be honest guys, I'm not really a high level, and watch this for a turn, watch this, this is so weird in a minute, he just like comes around, he thinks I'm stunned, I'm never going to get him, look, and then he rages so much uh, in the game, but obviously I muted it a bit, so you can hear me uh, commentate, uh, but anyway guys, what is up, uh, so today, what is going to happen is, I'm going to talk a bit about and uh, the score streaks, and a bit about Black Ops, and a bit about what I'm, what I'm like planning on doing, uh, so, let me start off guys, the gun that I am using on this on this map is the MTAR. Now, this reminds me of the TAR-21 from um, MW2 because it, it's how it reloads. Now, obviously when I was reloading there, I had dual mags on, uh, but I, I think, I don't know, I can't really remember. I think that's just how it reloads, but I believe on old Black Ops, if you was using like dual mags, it would reload like that, but obviously that's just how it reloads. So anyway, I'm going to talk about a bit about this map. Um, I I like this map in general, but I don't know. It's like it's really hard to get used to. Uh, the spawns aren't the best, um, but I I do think that they've done a really good job this time. Treyarch have uh, to sort out the spawns. Uh, I know I uploaded another gameplay with an MP7 on this map, but I just wanted to upload another another gameplay on this map uh, with a different gun, uh, showing you guys all the different guns. So. Basically, at the moment, it's not like high-scoring gameplay at all. It's just like me commentating, getting back into it. Because I know you guys, you know, when I was into, when I'm into commentating, I do pretty well. Uh, if I, if I can say so myself, I do pretty well when I commentate. But when I get out of it and I start live streaming and stuff, I sometimes slack and and I don't do too well. And watch this. He just sponges for some reason, but I think it was my stupid aim. But anyway, I got the triple kill. Uh, the guy who was uh, his name was Foodie, he was like, he was proper shouting his mouth off, it was un unbelievable, so I had to mute him. Uh, the good thing about this game as well guys, before uh, when you get, actually get into the game, you can mute the whole part, the the uh, whole lobby, so if there's anyone who's annoying like saying like, I kid your crap with this weapon, such and such and such, like, I don't know why people complain about the game because what is the point in complaining? I mean, yes, it's the first day of release. It's not going to be the best ever. I know I haven't played on it all day today, guys. I haven't been able to get any gameplay uh, for you guys today because of, of, uh, I've been getting a server error. Don't know about you guys. Uh, it's, it's probably on for some of you guys. But most, uh, uh, pe most of the people around my area are really struggling to get online because uh, we're getting this uh, search, this error or whatever. Uh, I might show the show it in uh, another gameplay if if I can't get online. I think I might upload that, just showing you guys what it is. And if you're getting the same message, I don't know. We'll have to see. But I might, I might just stick to just talking about it rather than uploading it. I don't know. But yeah, I really think this map is sometimes like annoying because like for instance as you can see here they're getting A and if you like kill someone on A obviously they'll spawn at A but they always seem to spawn like behind you with the flag so the they kill you it's so annoying and sometimes on this map as well I'm just like forever chasing them around uh, but I really do like the way uh, Treyarch made Ghost uh, le at level 55 because there is there's nothing worse than having Ghost being able to have that privilege of using Ghost at like level 20 uh, because obviously people who camp at the back of the map like to use Ghost. Now, unfortunately, they can't do that. They can, but obviously, if you've got a UAV, uh, it will be pretty hard to uh, get to kill them uh, as such because you know you won't be getting. You won't be getting anyone like trying to kill you, uh, if that makes sense. You won't be like, no one will be killing you basically, uh, <laughs> because you have the UAV and you will be able to to see where everyone is on the map. Uh, I don't want to think, I don't want to feel like I'm like, feel like I'm like, <laughs> but I don't want to feel like I'm messing up on my words or whatever, guys. It's just like I don't know. I think I might. I might uh, somehow speed uh, gameplays up in the future because on this domination it is a five five minute aside, so it is difficult to keep up to it, 
keep up to date, keep up to what I'm talking about uh, is pretty difficult. But you know, there's not many people uh, who camp in the corner. This is just basically a general uh, comment, general conversation to you guys as a commentary. It's no, there's no like specific topic I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to get another gameplay out, seeing as though I couldn't play um, today. So yeah, I thought I thought uploading two today would be pretty alright. Um, I don't know if I'll be uploading tomorrow because I'm out training. I'm doing something. But I, I might be able to get a gameplay out. I mean, I've got a gameplay on my hard drive, but it's getting around to doing the commentary. So the next the next upload will po possibly be Friday. I'm not really that sure. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully the servers will be sorted out. Well, we'll just have to see what happens. And I'm about to burp. <laughs> uh, don't you hate that feeling? Like when when you when you talk to someone and you're just like, I got to burp, but I can't burp. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I thought that that was a bit random anyway. But yeah, um, I'm just going to talk a bit a bit more about the weapons, guys. Um, I have been playing campaign. I don't know if I've nearly completed it now. I don't really want to give anything away. I know I don't really get many many viewers at the moment, but the campaign is really good. I do recommend playing it, playing it all the way through because it does lead off from Black Ops One. You know, when we thought Woods died and stuff, but he didn't die. He's actually in a wheelchair and he's talking about his memories and stuff from 1989 and it's. 2025 yes it's 2025 uh, in the future and 1989 in the past basically um but yeah i don't really want to talk a bit i don't really want to talk a lot about the campaign i just think it's brilliant and you should definitely play it. it's well worth playing i haven't completed it yet i will eventually complete it probably complete it before the servers are back up and um, we'll just have to see what happens but yeah you basically this time as well guys it's like different multi that's the thing that i want to talk about as well um i know i talk, talked a bit about the campaign last time but i didn't have chance so i, I Fuck it, I'll talk about a bit more about the uh, campaign. So basically, guys, before uh, the when uh, the campaign first ever came out on COD4 um, and previous and previous uh, Call of Duties, um, the ba the basic campaign was always like boring for me you know there wasn't like many interactions or whatever it was just like a one-way storyline but in black ops 2 there's multiple endings so you for instance get to choose i'm not going to say the names of who you get to kill but for instance now you get to like you you play as the enemy and you also play as friendly so you can play play as against the big body you can be the big body or whatever i'm not saying the name of the big body because you guys might not know what the big body is but you get to choose whether to kill such and such or get to hurt such and such so it's either kill, kill them or just hurt them and keep them alive or whatever but yeah there's multiple endings but i would be careful as well guys when you are playing the campaign because I don't think you can go back to where I've heard that you can, but I don't think you can. I'm not really that sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, um, the last thing that I want to talk about as well, guys, it is to do with the campaign. Like the guns now, it's like when you start a, when you start the campaign, like start a mission, you get to customize your own class. Now, before when you entered a, uh, the uh, story mode or whatever, you didn't get to uh, choose your home class. Now you can choose your own class before you start the uh, uh, game, and it gives you the uh, recommended class anyway. But you do get to change it if you want to. But I always stick to the recommended one because I don't want to be like messing up and then not having any ammo be like ah, i can't find any ammo even though there is a lot of ammo on floor because of all baddies and stuff uh but yeah the last thing i want to talk about as well guys to do with the campaign if you throw a grenade at someone and this is what i love about treyarch uh to infinity ward i don't think it happened on black ops i didn't really play the campaign as such uh, but when you throw a grenade at someone's legs they blow up and i love that i love when that happens when so, when you throw a grenade and that shit happens uh it's just amazing and like you have this like knife and stuff and you get to chop their heads off i just love all the gore and that it's just a really really brilliant campaign guys and i do recommend that you do play it um Sorry if I felt like I was repeating myself this commentary, as I said, I just wanted to get a, a commentary out to you guys, seeing as I couldn't play. I've been a bit pissed off anyway that I couldn't play it, but we'll just have to see in the uh, uh, hours to come that, you know, I could possibly be able to play this game, but we'll just have to see what happens. But yeah, anyway guys, thanks a lot for listening. I mean, it's not a great gameplay, but it is an okay gameplay, 45 kills, and uh, thanks a lot for listening to me. This, this map is called Aftermath, that's it. That's it, that's the map. <laughs> but yeah, guys, share this on Twitter, whatever.
please get a like thank you for watching all the way through if you did um unfortunately we did lose the game i just just thought about that but anyway i did carry i did carry so yeah thank you very much guys and this has been jamie and i'm out bye bye